Well, hi you guys, welcome back to another episode of Eek Acres. In this video, I wanted to talk about some facts regarding uh, what I'm facing. I go next week to get my uh, pathology report to find out what kind of kidney cancer I have because there is a laundry list of all different types of kidney cancers. And uh, so I'm gonna find out which one I have and also what stage it's in. I believe it's in stage one because, because of this, based on the size of the tumor. So I believe it's stage one, but I could be wrong. But this is what I'm gonna find out next week. And so I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about what's coming up. And four of these types of cancers, not saying this is what would happen or what would be the case with me, but just so you guys understand that four just out of this list and out of these four, a couple of them can kill you within 12 months and the other ones can kill you as quick as four months. And that depends on if it's spread it outside the kidney or not because it's, it's some of the most aggressive forms of cancer to where you're dead in just months. And that's if it went beyond the kidney. I don't know if it's gone beyond the kidney because I have unexplained problems right now and unexplained symptoms that kind of point to the fact that it might have gone outside the kidney and spread to other parts of my body just because of what I'm going through right now. So I really hope that isn't the case, but that's what's happening. So it makes me wonder. So next week, um, when the time comes, I will do a video at that time and I will let you guys know what the pathology report said and what the surgeon said and what he recommends. But I wanted to say that if, if, and I'm just, being a realist here I'm not being negative I'm just being a realist that if it did spread to other parts of my body I would then see no reason to have the kidney removed um, that would be it um, I would come to terms with what's going to happen to me because if it's somewhere else in my body removing the kidney isn't going to remove the cancer and then it's just you know more surgeries more procedures and what people don't talk about you guys is that you know like I had someone a while back said in a comment well I my aunt had kidney cancer and she had one of her kidneys removed and she lived it for another 20 years well that's not the case for everybody you guys and that's great but that's not the case for everybody because even having a total nephrectium done where they remove the kit that the entire kidney that procedure alone can kill you that's a life-threatening procedure. There's lots of things that can go wrong. Not saying it would, I'm just saying you have to understand that there are serious complications that can happen. You can suffer a heart attack, you can suffer a stroke, you can go into cardiac arrest, you could die having this done. Especially with someone like me that is my age facing this and also with a laundry list of health problems. I'm more at risk of these things going wrong than someone that was 25 and, and in good health otherwise. But because I got so many health problems and a bad health history and I'm pushing my mid 50s, I'm at a greater risk of something going wrong. So I have to take that into consideration. Not saying it would, I'm just saying I have to take that into consideration. Because they lay you on your side and your body is arched. They have something underneath of you so your spine is like arched. And then they have this robot that goes in to remove the kidney. And there can be damage to other uh, um, vital organs. Some organs can shut down completely. Like you can to use, lose total, uh, you could have total loss of both of your lungs to where you can't breathe on your own. You can suffer a collapsed lung and I've already had that happen to me. You could uh, end up with blood clots. There's there's all kinds of things to, to consider. So it is a worrisome surgery, a worrisome procedure, because it's not just cut and dry. They don't just go in there and remove the kidney and everything's good. It's a serious operation, you guys, and it's a life-threatening operation. And not everybody has the same outcome. So removing the kidney is going to depend on the type of cancer I have and how aggressive it is and if it is spread to other nearby areas of the body. That's what's gonna make me make my decision on if I go through a total um, nephrectomy to have the kidney removed. Other news, um, I had a company today just send me another refrigerator, freezer, cooler that runs on a battery bank. This one is really super cool. You guys are gonna like this one. 
It's smaller than the ice coal one that I did. This is by a different company. But because I'm still under contract by ice coal that I can't review another fridge for 30 days, I have to wait until the 1st of December. 1st of the December ends the contract with ice coal to where then for this company I can review the refrigerator. This one's a really, really nice one. It's smaller, it's more portable, it has wheels on it. It's really nice, you guys are gonna wanna see this, but this is coming up the 1st of December, just in time for Christmas. Um, other things that Bridget and I are considering is with the acreage we got here in this property, because it is in Western New York and with the, the history of this side of the country, we are gonna get a couple metal detectors and we are gonna rope off in grids sections by sections at a time and we are going to spend an entire year of metal detecting this property to see if we can dig up old civil war red relics uh old coins um buttons buckles um who knows things from the 18th century might even find something from the 17th century because there is a lot an abundance of that on this side of the country so uh who knows maybe we'll get lucky and find a morgan dollar maybe a standing liberty uh, maybe a sitting liberty, uh, maybe some Merc dimes. I mean, who knows, you guys. I used to do it many, many years ago. I had fun with it. I used to dig stuff up landscaping and found solid silver coins. So I'm sure on this property here, especially with the two creeks, we're going to metal detect the creeks too to see what's been washed down over the years. It's going to be a fun thing. It's something I'm looking forward to. I hope my health allows me to achieve that, that I can do that in the future here. But we're going to get the metal detectors so we have them so when, when we're ready to do it we can start doing videos of what we find on this property and i also ordered another trail cam to put at the other end of the of the property because now the bucks are coming in because it's rut season hunting season starts this saturday and so the bucks are going to be on the move and they're already coming onto the property i've already got four different videos of some nice bucks that come here into the woods here at the property so once the second one comes, I'm going to put it in a tree on the other side and uh, see what I get. So that's what we're planning on doing, you guys. We're planning on getting into some metal detecting, um, going camping with one of these refrigerators. Next year, taking a, a road trip and doing Route 66. Just things that are on my bucket list while I can still do them. And, um, but I can't wait to find out next week where I am with this cancer because that's really going to tell me what my odds are and what's going on with me so but I'll let you guys know as soon as I know but I'm facing some serious things right now you guys that have just kind of uh, put my life at a standstill right now and so I wanted to do this video but uh, I am gonna be tapering off on my reviews here in a little while just because I haven't been feeling up to doing them because a lot of days I just don't feel well and I pray to God um, that uh, next summer I'll be able to do some detecting because once winter comes, uh, the ground's too hard to dig. So it's something we would kick off in the spring, met fully metal detecting this property and making dozens upon dozens of videos of every dig, of every find and what we find. I think that would be exciting and fun just to see what's on this property that Bridget purchased because it does have a lot of history here. I'm sure there's plenty of things we would find and um, possibly old bottles and stuff too because we already found one old bottle um, but maybe we'd find some from the 1800s who knows but uh, yeah so that's the plan you guys but um, so next week I'll know what kind of cancer I have if it's a very aggressive form if it's a non-aggressive form if it's more life-threatening less life-threatening if it's just in the kidney or somewhere else in my body, I don't know. These are the things that once I know, I'll do a video and tell you guys. And um, so I haven't been having a lot going on right now just because I haven't felt up to it. But I would like to go on a short hike because I need to get some exercise because just being in the house and uh, watching just uh, YouTube videos is kind of getting monotonous now. And um, I like being active and doing things, but I just haven't felt well enough to do it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping and praying for good news next week. But like I said, uh, depending on what he tells me, 
depends on whether if I go through this surgery, this second surgery, because this would be a big one and this would uh, put me in the hospital temporarily. So, and um, I'm very worried about it because of my health and just uh, the trauma of going through it. So I don't know, decisions to make, you guys. I got decisions to make, but um, I'll let you guys know once I know. And you can let me know down below what you think about the metal detecting idea because um, it's a very fun hobby. I've enjoyed it when I've done it before. I'd like to get back into it and um, get back into camping and all the good things that I enjoy. But when winter comes, it really slows me down because I'm not a wintertime guy. And I don't do too much in the winter other than maybe do some hikes. That's about it. So I'm praying that I'm still around for next summer because I would like to really enjoy a beautiful summer now that I know our country is on the right track and that help is on the way that we're going to have a president that's going to fix things as well as all the other people in the government <clears throat> that are coming in that are going to be working for us instead of what we were having. So very excited about that you guys so anyhow that's just the update and um yeah leave your thoughts down below and like i said the first day of december the review on this uh this new fridge is coming and um it's a nice one you guys and uh, i think you'll like it so that'll be coming later thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you again in the next one Bye bye